Nahal, in your LinkedIn profile, you mentioned that, and I quote you, I have learned that the key to any successful organization is its culture it creates. The organization needs to commit to three key people promises. Keep things simple, create culture of learning and environment, and serve the community. Can you elaborate more on that field, please? Sure. I think keeping it simple has become one of the most um, prevalent priorities across organizations because the speed with which you need to go to market um, currently is unprecedented, which means that we need to get our own house in order. Uh, a lot of organizations are talking about operating models and technology and process simplification. But they're all doing it, um, I think, from a place of silos, and there needs to still be a kind of common architectural blueprint uh, within the organization, which I believe is where HR needs to actually uh, focus its energies. Um, we tend to talk about organizational design within HR, which is just the structures. Yeah. Uh, what we need to do is far more than that. It's talking about the flow of work the movement of the baton from the customer through the organization and back to the customer again. What does that look like? Is it seamless? Is it simple? Mm -hmm. So that's really around the architectural piece that also drives a lot of cultural behavior. Yeah. Uh, the second piece is around learning. Um, so now more than ever uh, with the um, introduction of TED Talks yeah. and universities online, just even the presence of the internet, it's taken uh, the opportunity for people to Google stuff and mm -hmm. find things themselves uh, to another level. So again, centralized creation or design of content when there's TED Talks out there is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, this is almost like a, an old sort of school of thought. Um, now it's about content curation, mm -hmm. but also making jobs exciting enough for people to want to actually explore. Because job seekers also Googling companies about their company culture, what they look like on social media. So it's also coming uh, to the company saying, OK, this is our culture. This is how we do things. Exactly. And the learning piece also comes from actually not just learning in the context of traditional learning, but giving top talent the opportunity to innovate, be entrepreneurs within the organization. There are companies that are uh, introducing failure budgets, which is something that I'd like to explore uh, in the coming years at MEC, where each department gets a pot of cash that they can experiment with and use their talent to actually learn uh, how to disrupt certain areas of that department and, and learn from yeah, their mistakes. Great initiative. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think that jobs has become kind of very automated and very... Uh, strict like this is your job you can't go out of your scope or you cannot come with creative ideas you think that companies are more linear to be open exploring or it depends on the company culture i think to a certain extent the sort of basic foundational roles to keep the machine moving yeah. are going to be replaced for the most part with automation you, you see already yeah. the popularity of systems like erp mm -hmm. and ai coming into the workforce so the more routine and, and sort of monotonous the job is, the more obviously threatened by technology it can become. I think, if anything, organizations are beginning to realize that the architecture within the uh, organization needs to be more fluid mm -hmm. and that um, it is centered around solving for a particular problem mm -hmm. or trying to create a particular value. Uh, the siloed uh, sort of structural uh, ways companies have been set up, uh, which and they continue to be set up, is going to continue to get challenged in this new world. The gig economy is another yeah. way that is disrupting that as well. I agree totally. Agree. Again, thank you, Nahal, for sharing your insight. Yeah. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any great company culture that you want to share, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Nahal.